I just stepped out here, and today I'm going to be doing the eighth amendment of the Bill of Rights. The eighth amendment states, it's about, well, it's about cruel and unusual punishment. Excessive bail shall not be required, nor excessive fines imposed, or cruel and unusual punishments inflicted. This can be taken a lot of ways. Because, um, cruel and unusual punishments. If the punishment doesn't fit the crime, it's cruel and unusual. And also, thousand prisoners in dilapidated facilities or facilities that have got massive amounts of mold, not feeding them or not feeding them properly, not giving them water, or giving them bad water, really dirty water. That, that can, can be, be put in as cruel and unusual punishment. And also, not allowing family members to visit them is also cruel and unusual. And excessive fines. Yeah. Um, like the incident, uh, the guy. The individual that supposedly shot a illegal alien trespassing on his property when he he's shot when he said he shot he saw people with firearms and from what I got there was there was a, the police were called out and searched according to what he was saying. But nothing was found, but later, the guy was found with a single shot in the back. And then also, they were saying they found a radio with the guy. Makes me believe they were trafficking people across this property. And it's highly possible that individual may have, that was shot may have been doing illegal activities and possibly that the guy was right that there's people out there with firearms. But when they changed his what they're charging him with, the one million dollar bail actually became I believe came more uh um the million dollar bail I should say. I guess a billion. But the million dollar bail became unjustified in my well excessive because it was a different charge than what they originally had him for and the charge they had him for did require higher bail but in my opinion no that guy should be set free because this we've got issues with the cartel crossing the border. But yes, there are places that have been doing the excessive bail, but then there's places that have been doing no bail for people that should have to have bail to get out. My opinion is it seems like a lot of places that are making their criminal justice department a revolving door, which is causing the crime rates to go up. And also, I believe the death penalty is not a cruel or unusual punishment when the person is 100% guilty and pretty much all mass murder. I don't even care if they claim to be the mentality thing. If you're not gonna, if you killed a bunch of people and you never got to figure out right from wrong. It's just best to better on the taxpayers to get you taken care of in that sense. And all these people who have shot up schools knowingly doing it. 
I don't even care that they're a kid. Once they hit an adult, God, it's I'm t and I may have people who are upset about that, but if you know you not only do it and you don't care that you have killed a bunch of people, gone. And but. If you're gonna make someone sit in prison for 20 years for some simple crime, that is that is not even that bad. Like jaywalk and or even theft. It's a little bit out there. I mean, it depends on how much they steal, but. And how many times they did the theft because each each crime on their own is different it adds can add up to it but for one minor theft 20 years is a little much but yeah the punishment needs to fit the crime in my opinion